Hey there, it's Amy from the crazycraftlady.com. In this tutorial today, we're going to make cute little farmhouse style wood bead pumpkins to decorate for fall. You only need five supplies for this project. Of course, wood beads along with wire, wire cutters, and then some twine and some faux leaves to decorate your pumpkin tops. To get started, I started by making the smaller pumpkin first. So for that, you will want to cut three 12 inch lengths of the wire. So just stack them one on top of each other until you have three 12 inch pieces of wire cut. Then take one wood bead and string it onto all three pieces of wire and then fold the wire stack in half. So then you have six little segments of wire poking out from that one bottom base bead. You want that one, that first bead to go through all three strands of wire to kind of hold everything together and serve as the base of your pumpkin. And then from there you can start stringing wood beads onto each section of the wire. So for each of the six sections I used 10 wood beads, so a total of 60 wood beads. So just go all the way around the pumpkin, one piece of wire at a time, and add 10 pieces or 10 little wooden beads. So it's just a super simple process of adding the wood beads to each individual section. Then once that has been done, you want to grab all six wire tops of all six sections of the remaining wire, pinch them together, and then twist the body of your pumpkin around a few times. That, this is going to form the stem at the top of your pumpkin. And then you're going to want to kind of just fluff out or form the uh, sides of your pumpkin to kind of form them down into the, the pumpkin shape. So you want to take each of the six sections of wire and form them into a little C shape to make your pumpkin. Then twist your stem and trim it down to length, whatever length you want it to be using your wire cutters. And now it's time to cover up that green um, wire. To do this, I'm going to use twine and some faux greenery. So I like to pull the leaves off the stem. And when you do that, there's a little hole left between the, the leaf sections. So then you can just slide the, the wire right through that little hole in the center. And then you have little leaves popping up on your stem of the pumpkin. So start by taking the twine and weaving it in and out a few times around each of the six sections of the wire and then tie it off with a knot to secure it at the start at the base of the stem. And then from there just take your twine and wrap it around a few times all the way from the bottom of the stem all the way to the top. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You can go, you know, wrap up and then wrap back down just so that you kind of cover up the majority of that green wire and then tie everything off with a knot once again. Then fluff out the edges, the six sides of your pumpkin and you've got a cute little pumpkin shape there. I'm also gonna talk you through how to make a larger pumpkin that has seven or eight um, sections. So on this one, I took four lengths of 15 inch wire and I strung one bead through the same method, right? But since nothing in nature is perfectly symmetrical or even, on this one I wanted to have seven sections on my pumpkin instead of six. So what you're gonna do on this is really simple, is just double up two pieces of wire when you start. So when you start adding your wood beads on the first little strand it's going to be a doubled up piece of wire only on the first one and then as you add wood beads to the remaining it's just on a single piece of wire and that's how you go from you know eight pieces of wire down to seven so that you can have an odd number on a larger on a larger pumpkin and then decorate it following the same method as before but that's it a super quick easy fall craft using five simple supplies that most of you probably already have in your craft stash. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, happy making.